Hi, um, my name is Betsy Pendleton and I am the instructor for Gerontology 503, um, Home and Long-Term Care. Um, I'm just making this video as a little guide for um, you guys as you work through the course. Um, I just want to be able to go over a few things with you so that if you have any questions um, in the beginning of the course, you can watch this video and hopefully those will be answered for you. Um, but you can still use this as a resource as the class goes on. So um, I'm going to share my screen and just walk through the course with you on Canvas. Okay, so um, this is the home page of the Gerontology 503 course. Um, right now, there's not a video here. This video will be here at the end. Um, so first, what you're going to do is you'll just want to read through this. Um, it's just explaining what this course is and um, what you can expect to learn. This is a five week reading course. All of you who are in this course have been in past courses um, from me that are the same um, and it's set up very similarly. So nothing should be new as far as like um, how the course goes, just the assignments are different. Um, at the bottom of this, you'll see the suggested course outline. Um, this is not like exactly when you have to do it, but um, this is just what I would suggest. So. In the first week, you will want to read the syllabus, do the discussion post, and do assignment one, as well as um, start reading page one. So um, let's move into the syllabus. So the syllabus just outlines who I am. Like I said, I'm Betsy, and this is my email. This is the best way to reach me. Um, I also have an office in Justin Hall 253 but I don't have set office hours, so email is the best way to reach me. If you want to set up an in-person meeting, I'm happy to do that, um, but I make every effort to respond to emails within 24 hours. If for some reason I haven't responded to your email in 24 hours, send me another one. Sometimes they get lost. There's no textbook required for this. All of the content is listed on the page. Um, and then these are the course objectives, things that you're going to learn, and then um, just regular syllabus things. Um, and then at the bottom, you'll see due dates. So make sure you read through that. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Um, the modules is the place where you're going to find um, the pages as well as the quiz. You have to read page one and two before you complete the quiz. Um, the quiz is directly coming from those two things, so make sure that you read those. Um, I'll go over the assignments. So the first assignment is the discussion post. What I want you to do here is um, just describe what home is. Um, I have went ahead and um, posted my discussion so that you guys can get a little bit of what um, you should do. Uh, you don't have to do what I did, but um, those are some things to help you. Um, I did list some things like think about feelings, smells, comfort level, sights, taste um, associated to your home. Uh, this can be like the home you grew up or where you live now. Um, totally up to you. Um, and then the next assignment is uh, assignment one describing home. So before you complete any of the readings for this course, you should do this assignment. So what I want you to do is make a list of words that you associate with home and then also make a list of words that you associate with nursing home. Include this list in your paper. You can do it um, like in a paragraph way, so words right after another, or you can do it in a list way, like right next to each other. It doesn't matter to me. So once you've made your list, ask a minimum of five other people to do the same thing. So this can be friends, family members, um, just get a couple words from them. You don't have to get a lot. And then what I want you to do is combine 
all of the responses together so that you have a big list for home and a big list for nursing home. Any of the words that um, repeat, you can either put like, you know, this repeated four times, this repeated five times, something like that, or you can just um, list it on there like it was said once. Uh, it's just for you. So, and then um, label each item on the list. So if it's physical environment, if it's a feeling or like an emotion, or if it's a behavior, um, list that, so categorize them. And then I want you to analyze the list for similarities and differences. So what did you find for the words in the home that weren't for, you know, the nursing home? Um, what was in the nursing home that wasn't in the home? Did any of the terms appear in both lists? Um, and then why? Why do you think they appeared in both, both lists? Why do you think that they didn't? So using the lists, write three to five paragraphs describing what kinds of things in the nursing home environment that need to change in order for us to have the same or very similar associations with nursing homes. So if something that you associate with your home is that when you walk in, it smells, you know, really good and really homey, but when you walk in a nursing home, it doesn't. Maybe something to consider is how we um, contribute to the smell in a nursing home. Sometimes nursing homes can smell very um, institutional and kind of like a hospital, and that's not a super homey smell. So those are just some ideas. And then um, for the end of the assignment, uh, just answer this question. Do you think it's possible for a communal living setting like a nursing home to be viewed as a true home? Um, I'd really like you to spend probably a paragraph on this as well, um, but three to four sentences is what I'm looking for in that. So if you think it can, why? If you think it can't, why not? Um, and then, you know, just, just give me a little bit of um, backup for that. So I don't think that it can because, and this is how I know. Um, this is worth 15 points. And um, the breakdown of that is listed right below it. So that's not too much of an assignment, um, not too hard. Um, and then the quiz is your next assignment. Like I said, read page in one, one and two to go over that. And then the, the second assignment is um, your biggest assignment and you'll complete that the last week. Um, so this assignment looks at a space um, within a traditional nursing home model. So I have it listed in the assignment, but you can also click on this uh, JPEG and make it bigger. So what I want you to do is, um, so now that you're in the 503 class, you've had some experiences in nursing homes and um, you've read a lot. And so think about how a nursing home resident uh, would answer the questions below. So put yourself um, in their position and then also think about the behaviors of the staff members and policies that are in place with the organization and how that influences the way that the residents live. And then the biggest thing is comparing and contrasting the way that you live in the environment with the ways that residents live in the traditional nursing home. Um, and then the questions are listed below. You can answer these questions um, in like paragraph form, um, like with the headers as the questions. Um, or you can number them however you'd like. I have the question, so I know which one you're answering. Um, so you're kind of comparing and contrasting, like how do you share, who do you share your home with now? And then um, you answer it how you would. So, and then there's part two. So if you're given an op opportunity to recode um, the traditional nursing home map, what would you change? Do you, do you believe that um, the current coding actually reflects the way the spaces are truly used? Um, and then the part three is, so you'll place yourself in the role of the administrator of a traditional nursing home. And you have very little budget for remodeling 
but just think about five things that you could do that would change the environment. So um, I want you here to address the physical and the social aspects of the environment. So not just like, I would put a plant in, but also like um, things like I would invite people to come to this space um, with me at a specific time, um, things like that. So it's a multi-dimensional um, type response. Um, there's not a page limit on this. I assume that you'll need a couple paragraphs to answer the questions in part one, um, maybe a page or two for part two and the same for part three. So you'll see that um, the biggest point is that you are writing informed by the readings and also you using critical thinking. So if you are using an idea that says, you know, we should make bedrooms this or that, um, use things that are in the readings so that you can back it up. Um, I want this to be an APA format and um, uh, as far as that goes, um, I, if you are still struggling with APA format, I'm happy to reach out and work with you on that. Um, just let me know. Um, and then include citations, make sure your grammar, grammar is correct and that there's no spelling errors and clarity to your writing. Um, and then if you even scroll down further, you'll see exactly the grading criteria. Um, I don't want any of this to feel like, oh, I'm gonna get points off because I don't know exactly what's being graded on. You, it's overall here so that you know what you're being graded on. So at this point, you, this is the last assignment, so you will have finished everything. Um, and all of the files are listed here, module one, two, and three. Um, you click on modules, it'll show you the readings that you'll want to do. Um, if you're looking for your grades, you'll click on the grade thing. Um, if you ever have a question that you're uh, struggling with an assignment or something like that, um, you can email me. But if it's something that I think that um, other people might be wondering as well, um, I'll go ahead and post it in this comments and questions. Um, place and I might answer it here. So you can post your question here first and I'll answer it. Um, just make sure that it's not related to grades or something like that. Um, I am really excited about teaching you guys in this course and like I said if you have any questions at all throughout the course please reach out sooner than later. I'm happy to help you and um, I really hope that this is a good experience for you. Okay, well, um, that is all I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing and end this meeting.